distinguished chief guest padam shri awardee dr k vijay raghavan our esteemed members of governing body and board of management senior management faculty members students and staff of the university my dear graduating students and their parents ladies and gentlemen i am indeed immensely happy to welcome you all to the fourth convocation of gsfc university this is our second convocation in physical as we were compelled to conduct second and third convocation virtually due to the pandemic situation i am aware that degree recipients of the respective batches have missed on campus momentous event we all know that the day of convocation marks the completion of an important phase in a student's life as the day involves an experience of joy and happiness of completing a formal education in a university this would be a special day for fulfillment for the parents too who invested their hard earned money and aspiration in educating their wards parents often sacrifice their personal happiness and comforts to make sure that their children get the best of education my dear students i am confident that more than the degree the knowledge and values imbibed here will definitely help you to create the destiny for your dreams today we are delighted to have padam shri awardee dr vijay raghavan as our chief guest to deliver the convocation address to our students on this august occasion dr vijay raghavan is the former principal scientific advisor to government of india and now providing his valuable services to national center for biological sciences tata institute of fundamental research bangalore at the personal level he has been an intimate friend and i had an opportunity to work with him on a few occasions he is truly a great person we are indeed grateful to you sir and look forward to your blessings to our graduating students on this occasion my heartiest congratulation to all the 393 degree recipients and nine gold medal winners my best wishes to all of you for bright career and meaningful life ahead i am happy to note that the year 2021-22 has witnessed many noteworthy events and stimulating academic activities for the university the university has taken several initiatives in line with the national education policy 2020 with novel and emerging activities and events the cornerstones of nep like curriculum updation student industrial internship startup activities vibrancy through students clubs bridge courses blended learning multidisciplinary approach through choice based courses on life skills humanities etc have already been interwoven in the academics of this university as reported by provost university started with just two programs and today we have as when he has 19 programs the university has also decided to launch another nine programs in the year the university has adequate library facilities with digital resources and 40 state of the art laboratories including workshops i congratulate the teaching and administrative staff for making all the efforts to take the university to the next level and they all deserve accolades let's give a big hand to the to them at this moment i also acknowledge the introduction of unique initiative which stands for university 
quality evident parameters seven e framework for assessing universities academic and administrative performance for the fulfillment of our vision and mission this will also help the university to be nep compliant i congratulate dr abha kalaiya assistant professor school of management for articulating and implementing this initiative in true spirits i am also happy to acknowledge that our students have developed the learning management system in association with gujarat institute of disaster management gandhinagar which will become a significant platform for multidisciplinary knowledge enhancement similarly our students have developed the chatbot tool for the university portal for easy and speedy navigation i appreciate and congratulate them for their substantive contributions i think they also deserve a huge clap it is worth mentioning that the encouraging environment of gsfc university always motivates faculties and students to take part in academically enriching engagements i congratulate dr devjani banerji and dr akhilesh prajapati from the school of science for their major research projects on characterization of breast cancer stem cells and drug repurposing studies with a funding support from gujarat state biotechnology mission government of gujarat and department of science and technology i am also glad to note our students achievements by securing awards and trophies in many areas which reflect our holistic approach to education our provost had given a detailed account of these achievements i am pleased to note that guitar council a section 8 company is recognized under a student startup and innovation policy known as ssip education department government of gujarat and is also notified as a nodal center industries commissionerate government of gujarat it is heartening to note that six students projects have been approved for financial support under ssip and the first patent is filed on manufacturing of soy kasu products from waste residue of soya milk and tofu by our btech chemical beginning engineering student ms mansi choudhury i congratulate ms mansi and urge that more and more students come forward with the new ideas having the potential of commercial ventures let us make guitar council a storehouse of innovative ideas which can transform the society with better product and services i acknowledge the efforts of faculties and students led by dr saroj shekhawat chief executive officer guitar council she also deserves huge appreciation I feel happy that GSFC University was honored with the best digital transformation adoption in education sector award by the GESIA our efforts must continue to make the campus completely digital and paperless in line with current and future trends for higher growth and development i think the entire university management deserves appreciation for the same I also appreciate students active participation in various activities through the vibrant part of the university that is 16 students managed clubs and one student chapter which of course has been awarded by the university which is mentored by Dr Sanjukta Goswami for getting best student chapter award for the second year in a row they do deserve huge claps
I also congratulate the students for successfully organizing Ananta 22 with a theme of multiverse of technology and I was really impressed by their organizing capabilities. It is heartening to note that a number of activities and initiatives have been undertaken during the year to fulfill the vision of the university for encouraging student-centric culture and developing industry-ready and employable students with all-round development. I acknowledge special initiatives like pinups, of course, this is by the President's initiative for nurturing unlimited potential of students that enhance self-confidence, boost special interaction, and inculcate soft skills of leadership, teamwork, goal manifestation, creative, creativity, and critical thinking. I also acknowledge the foundation course as a part of the curriculum focusing on body, mind, intellect, and soul, a holistic approach to build up values, ethics among the students. I appreciate the initiative of Chitis, which Provost mentioned, for broad broadening intellectual vistas through enriching talks by experts from across the society. I am happy to note the recent initiative of Internet Radio, which was launched on this very Republic Day, which will become another source of multidisciplinary knowledge through edutainment. I congratulate Mr. Kiran Parmar and the faculty and student team for this very initiative. You all may be aware that the recent launching of Chat GPT, which is Generative Pre-trained Transformer by OpenAI, will definitely throw new challenges for education as a whole. Many universities have banned the use of Chat GPT by the students. Australian universities are changing the exam formats to banish AI tools. In this scenario, GSFC University needs to prepare to manage such technologies which limit the potentialities and capabilities of students. And I'm sure the university will take up this challenge immediately. Dear students, change is constant. So adopt new ideas, acquire new learnings by exploring new areas. Education is very important for one's success, which contributes directly to the nation building. As you know, today's readers are tomorrow's leaders. Therefore, my dear students, keep honing the habit of reading on a regular basis, particularly inspiration from the people about whom we read, like APJ Abdul Kalam and others. Broaden our vision to discover what makes them different from others. The university gives the opportunity to enrich your knowledge by reading the motivational books like Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Ignited Minds, The Alchemist, etc. What you think now will shape your future ahead. Reading good literature expands your cultural awareness your thinking paradigm and sharpens your mental saw. Another important thing I strongly believe is always be honest. Mary Kay Ash, a successful American businesswoman has said, honesty is the cornerstone of all success, without which confidence and ability to perform shall cease to exist. So we need to be careful whether we want to have confidence and ability for that honesty is a must. I am indeed grateful to GSFC Limited headed by Shri Mukesh Puri, MD GSFC for extending wholehearted support by way of substantial contribution through GSFC Education Society for the growth of the university, infrastructural development and access to their 22 plants for students' skill enhancement. 
A new hostel building with the support of GSFC Limited would help the university to grow further in the coming years. I also take this opportunity to, to, to thank Concord Biotech, ARG, which Provost mentioned, JETCO, GGRC for extending their financial support for setting up various facility in the university. I am also grateful to Governing Board, Board of Management and Academic Council for their support to carry out the vision and for their valuable contribution in strengthening academic processes in the university. I also acknowledge and appreciate the hard work put in by the academic team led by Provost Dr. Nikhil Javeri, as well as Dean Dr. Saurabh Shah, Associate Deans Dr. Nishit Parikh, Dr. Santosh Kumar, Dr. Chetna Parmar, and Shri, Shri Krishnan. I also appreciate the hard work of administration team led by Director Administration and Registrar Shri Panchal as well as Shri Mahesh Barot, who is the campus director here. I acknowledge the efforts put in by our placement and internship team led by Shri Naren Acharya. I congratulate the teaching and administration team for their efforts to make the university a chosen destination for education in Baroda and around. Further, I express my sincere gratitude to our chief guest, Dr. Vijay Raghavan, for sparing his valuable time and encouraging students with words of wisdom. I also thank the esteemed members of the governing body and board of management for participating in today's convocation despite their busy schedule. Lastly, I would like to extend my best wishes and blessings to all the students with the prayers that let the success be your signature and let the Almighty shower on you all the courage and confidence you need. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind. Thank you.